Hello, viewers. Today we'll be learning about a certain ecosystem that's next to me. It is known as a pond. Ponds show biodiversity by having both abiotic factors like air, carbon dioxide, and rocks, and biotic factors like fish, lily pads, and trees. One main population here is the fish in the water. This helps form the community in the picture by being with stuff that is biotic, like the lily pads. Lily pads are also autotrophs, which is an organism that produces their own energy. Tadpoles and fish however, are known as primary consumers, they're called that because they only eat plants. Fish and frogs are known for being secondary consumers, which means that they eat meat. But fish, like turtles, eat both plants and animals, they are known as omnivores. Tadpoles are also known as scavengers, which is something that eats stuff like algae. And decomposer is just some bacteria at the bottom of the pond. It eats up all the dead stuff, like fish. In each biome, there is a food chain, and ponds are no exception. The tadpoles eat stuff, like algae, and grow up to eat other organisms, like a fly. That means over time, it also expands to a food web. Food webs are more stable, because it doesn't rely on one species in one area. It's easy to branch out, in each biome. There is also a renewable resource, in ponds, that is known as algae. Species, like tadpoles eat this to be able to grow up and reproduce in the future. The O2 and CO2 cycle is also shown in the ponds. Cellular respiration releases CO2 into the air, and the plant life takes it in, and converts it to O2. There's also some positives for the humans affecting the pond, like making the water cleaner if it gets too dirty. Though, with its positives, comes its negatives. Humans negatively affect ponds by doing stuff, like fishing or dumping chemicals into it. There's also some negatives about the pond itself, like how you can't have that many fish, otherwise it'd be too crowded. That's all I have about ponds for today. Thanks for watching.